Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today I will be showing you how easy it is to set up your POP or IMAP account in Outlook. Firstly, click on the Windows logo in the toolbar and start typing Control Panel. Then click on Control Panel. In the next window, look in the top right corner where it says View By and change it to large or small icons. Now look for Mail, Microsoft Outlook and select it. In the next window, you will see three options. Select the option Email Accounts. The next window to open is the account settings. Make sure you're in the email tab and click on new. You will now be asked to enter some information. Add your name and email address. Select manual setup or additional server types and click next. Now choose pop or imop and click next. In this window in the user information section, you should already have your name and email address filled in. In the server information section, select if you want to use pop or imap. This bit is only relevant for creative digital customers. Other providers will have different information to go here. If you select pop3, then enter pop.creativedigital.life. If you select IMAP, enter imap.creativedigital.life. For the outgoing, enter smtp.creativedigital.life. For the login information, the username is your email address and your password is your selected password. Now click on more settings and go to the outgoing server tab. Tick my outgoing server, SMTP, requires authentication. Put the dot next to log on using. The information for this server can be found at your my.creativedigital.life or you can call us. In the advanced tab, this is where you can enter port numbers incoming and outgoing and select the security for your emails. You can use the standard ports for both incoming and outgoing. Sometimes broadband providers block some outgoing ports such as 25 or 587, but they will not block both, so you can choose from either of these ports. Once you have entered all of the information, click on OK, and then click Next. Outlook will then validate your settings, and you're done. It is that simple to add your account to Outlook. Thank you for watching, I hope this video helps you. Please like and subscribe for more helpful videos.